All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do a um, demonstration on how to take apart, I guess, um, a uh, lithium battery. Kind of want to see if uh, it's worth, you know, taking it apart. Should you have something that fails, you know, down the road? Is it easy to do? Is it going to be easy to get the part? Um, and is it going to be easy to reinstall it? Um, you know, it's not an expensive battery, so that's not a big deal, but it is one where you know, if you can throw, you know, 30 or $40 at it, bring it back to life again, it might be worth the effort. So I've never torn one of these apart. Um, so, uh, you know, you, there's lots of videos of people doing them. I just, they all seem to look pretty easy. I just want to see actually how difficult it is. I want to bring you guys along and let you know if it's just worth it or not. But we'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the battery, just in case it is someone you like or something, then we can put a link down in the description and you can go check it out. Um, because it is a uh, sub $300 battery, and I'm sure you could probably get it real close to 200 uh, when some sales and stuff come out. But uh, let's get this thing out of the box and see what we got going on here. It's got the typical extra foam cushions. There's our lugs. So it's got this one that goes over the top and around the sides, um, and it's got the exact same thing at the bottom. User manual. Barking dogs in the background. That, and there it is. So standard, uh, 12.8 volts, 100 amp hours for a total of 1,280 watt hours. Now it does seem to go against my principles here to take apart a perfectly good battery. Um, and hopefully we don't destroy it in the process. But uh, let's change camera positions and then we'll get a heat gun to this thing and we'll see if we can't get this thing to separate. All right, so, so we'll get a heat gun to it. Hopefully uh, can loosen up whatever glue they have here. I probably won't make you watch all of that, but we got to wait for this to heat up anyway. This isn't the best uh, heat gun in the world, unfortunately. I've struggled with it since I've owned it. I probably need a uh, you know, one to one plug into a wall. But we'll start right here in this corner. It's hot. Yep, that didn't work out so hot. Going to need something thinner to get under there. It looks like it wants to pry up, so let's put some more heat to it. Fortunately, I think we are going to, there we go, Let's get it started. Didn't do it any favors though. All right, I can tell you one thing. This is a booger, but I think we got it. They got it put together pretty good. Yeah, you can smell it. It's some kind of a glue. And we did do some damage to the case, so. Hopefully we can make it worth our while here. There we go. Some kind of epoxy of some sort. Let's see if we can't. There we go. 
she's open. All right, so we'll have to take this guy off. Now this is where you got to be super careful, my understanding, um, with this stuff. And I'll put uh, some gloves on here before we peel this all the way open just because of uh, metal components. I'm wearing a wedding ring. I guess I could just take that off. There we go. Don't tell my wife. So we'll do. So we can't cut that piece of tape. Very shallow. There we go. So there's our BMS and our cells. So a very small little pack of cells here. We got uh, a chunk of foam on one side. Another chunk of foam, but this one feels stuck. Looks like it's glued to glued to the uh, cardboard here. Okay, so the BMS is down here on the side. So they've got something here on the lugs. Looks like they're possibly welded down. QR code reading. All right, we're just gonna take this guy out of here. It a little better here. Yeah, this is glued on here pretty darn good. It should come off like that, I would think. Nope. All right. Very careful. Trying not to hit our cables that are right inside there. Finish this up right here. Okay. Okay. All right, so there's our BMS sitting in there. Actually just just being held in with a little tape. Yep, definitely feel bad about this because this thing is uh Good shape now. Cut that tape there. Try to cut that tape there. This has got some kind of a glue on it. I don't know if I'll be able to get that off or not. Yep. Piece of cake. Now these are welded on, so uh, replacing this BMS could be a bear. But if you got skills. I suppose if you're going to tear apart a battery like this, I wanted to see if we could see the brand, which I cannot. Oh, here we go. It's under the tape. All right, let me Google that. Let's see if we can figure that one out all right well it is using crimped lugs right here on this end with just some kind of glue on there but I just take that apart I think what we'll do is uh, wrap that in some tape and uh, make sure it's nice and safe then when I pull the rest of this stuff off That shouldn't be too much of a problem there. Get the negative off too. Yeah, so that's using one six gauge wire and probably an eight. Uh, can't quite tell on this one. One over here is a six gauge as well. Right, so we'll tape these guys up too. Because we can. It's probably a smart thing to do.
temperature sensor here. Little sensor right there for the battery temp. But, uh, let's, let's keep this assembly. Peeled everything off, kind of got the case off it. There's nothing on the bottom to tell us any more than what's on these QR codes up here. So um, I will put pictures of the BMS stuff that's on here and then of these battery cells, what their QR codes are. are. And then maybe somebody in the comments and let us know what we're looking at. I don't know if there's anything behind this little paper that I could read. That's it, I only see the one sensor here. And then we have three other sensors here, but it says it has um, over charge protection, over discharge protection, over current protection, over temperature protection, and short circuit protection. Um, so it's got a lot going on so maybe somebody else in the comments can say which ones these are if you can tell what's what are they specific probably to the overcurrent undercurrent short circuit would be my guess since we only had the one temperature sensor uh, batteries are taped together with these uh, yellow plates uh, in between each cell but yeah I mean if you had the ability to do the welding, the necessary welding, or soldering, I should say, um, on these lugs here, you know, and just adding in a new BMS should be rather simplistic as far as that goes. But uh, we did uh, we did make the case look ugly trying to get it off, but it'll glue back on. If you wanted to take the time and clean it up, pull all this stuff out. And I suppose if that's all you got, you don't have a way to get a new one. That would work. About a 23 pound battery. Uh, what is that in kilograms? 10.5 kilograms or something like that. And then uh, they say it's got an 18 month warranty. Uh, it's suitable for Solar homes, RVs, campers, caravan, trolling motors, overlanding boats and off-grid applications. Uh, you, you know, using it as a UPS or just for uh, power storage. But for me, um, I probably won't be putting this one back together. I may just leave it apart um, in the case, you know, put it back in, in the housing. And then uh, as I get a more skill set with messing with this thing, this this guy will be my uh, my donor battery for learning how to do some of this stuff. But but I just wanted to show you. I mean, it's a 10 year battery, 4,000 plus life cycles. Um, you know, from completely or down to completely dead, back up again. So it'll last a lot longer than 10. I mean, you'd have to do that. You know, if you do the math, you'd have to charge this thing uh, every day and drain it every day. For 10 years and you know and that's like i said that's from zero to 100 and then 100 back down to zero and i don't think very many people do that so it'll probably last you a lot longer than 10 years but for um i just wish i knew the component quality you know so you could actually google it and find out you know what people say about the individual components so yeah please do me a favor if, if you can tell by any of that um Put, uh, put it down in the comments, you know, and kind of tell everybody else about it. But like I said, sub $300 battery, um, MHPOW, how do you speak? Uh, MH Powers, MH Powers. The names they come up with, boy, I'll tell you. But uh, 
anyway there you go i've always wanted to see what was inside one of these personally um, and they wanted me to tear it apart and check it out and i have done so now for me would i personally take the time to tear one of these apart probably not i'm not that big of a uh battery geek you know not derogatory at all just saying just not that much into it and just just the amount of sweat that it took to get this guy off um would have been worth about half the price of it you know just to not have to do it but again i don't have the proper skill set to deal with this stuff down here i'm not an electronics guy to that level so would i recommend tearing it apart to replace components in it mm, for the average guy no no i wouldn't i would just if it fails on you just replace it um, and you don't have to go through any of this now if you're a guy that uh, loves to fool with this kind of stuff um, then by all means you probably even have a better way put down in the comments too um, if you have a better way to get that off i just tried to heat it up and got a screwdriver in there and just went all down the side and it finally popped so uh, but anyway thanks for tuning in guys really appreciate it and uh, we will catch you on the next video